You served for eight years as leader of the Senate Democrats, but lost your post because you lost the support of your colleagues. Tell us why they did, and whether your having lost their support speaks to your effectiveness in Albany. Well, let, let's talk about today. I've been endorsed by Senator Liz Krueger, Senator Eric Schneiderman, um, Carl McCall. Um, I get false information thrown at me about my role in his campaign. He's endorsed me in this race. Um, the fact is, I was, you know, the myth is I was ousted. My term was up. And David Patterson ran and I ran. There were a number of new members. In fact, a majority of the conference at that time had been new members elected since I had first won the leadership. There had been that much changeover. That's what you do. You run for leader. David ran, he had more votes. We never put it to a vote. I congratulated him. We remain friends today. In fact, if you look at my campaign committee, the first contribution I received was from David Patterson this year. So this idea, it's a press driven, coups, ousting, whatever. We had an election for the next year. I wasn't ushered out the door. I continued to serve as leader for another two months until the term expired. That's what we do. I think it's a dramatization that the press makes to talk about coups, ousting, reasons. You know, a month or two after it happened, David Patterson um, was asked um, by Fred Dicker on his radio show, was the reason this or that? And he said, no, the reason is people wanted to change and I wanted the job and I had more votes. That's politics. Okay. Mr. Squadron, would you like to respond to that? Uh, the fact is, at the time uh, that David Patterson became leader, the Daily News uh, wrote a very critical editorial of Senator Connor's tenure as leader, uh, saying essentially that he hadn't fought hard enough, uh, that uh, criticizing him for having worked against uh, Carl McCall. Um, the fact is that uh, we lost Democratic Senate seats during Senator Connor's tenure as leader. Uh, once that tenure ended, we started winning Senate seats back for Democrats. Uh, you know, I, uh, I'll let Senator Connor describe his experience of it. Uh, the, the record on it is that there was a feeling that we really needed to have a progressive fighter uh, leading uh, the Senate Democrats, that the only way to, to get past the, the old agreement of the Assembly always being Democratic and the Senate always being Republican was to have someone who was really willing to fight hard on the issues and for the progressive causes in districts across the state. Uh, Fifteen and seconds. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Connor. Dan, you weren't there. You were in college. Here's what really happened. I became leader and after two years, I beat, I picked up two seats, beat Republicans. We had a Republican governor though. They converted a member, they bought her off. If you look at it electorally, I was up seats. Three members switched parties when I was leader. Never happened to Fred Ornstein, he always Democratic governors. Governors could make it worth their while. At the end of, in 2002 was a redistricting year. The Republicans gerrymandered brutally, everybody's district. The myth was we came out with less seats. We came out with the same number of seats. Same number of seats as we went into that election. That's all myth. That's all newspaper myth. We lost, we lost, we lost. Go back and do the math. Same number of seats. The, frankly, there was a new conference. David was ambitious, incredibly capable person. And he got more votes than I did. Okay. There were no reasons other Thank than you. that. Okay. That concludes. Oh, no, I have to say, I didn't work against Carl McCall. I defended Galassano against Pataki's effort to kick him off the ballot. So he could be on the ballot and beat Pataki in the Independence Party primary. And that's what happened. That's why Carl McCall okay. supports me against you. Okay. All right. Andrea and Rachel, if you could bring down the questions that you've gathered. Wherever they are. Um, all right. We're